The Apple of Macintosh dazzled the world. It was invented by Steve Jobs. But who invented the apple we eat? The stethoscope. It was invented by the French physician René Lenec in 1818. But who created the ear in which we hear everything? The calculator was invented by the Frenchman Blase Pascal in 1639. Who created the human brain which equals one million of advanced calculators working at the same time? The electric light bulb which we turn to lighten a room. It was invented by Thomas Edison in 1879. So who created the self-illuminating sun which radiates the whole world? The plane. It was invented by Wilbur Wright in 1903. But who invented the systems and birds that enable them to fly long distances? He is Allah, the creator of everything. Look for him. You will find him. Whatever we could imagine, it is insufficient. But God is praised and he is not in need of you and I. Everything he creates does what it's created for. The planets they orbit, the suns they burn, the birds they fly, the fish they swim. Everything does what it is created to do except man and jinn. They are given free will, choose and refuse. So they will sometimes worship, sometimes not. The word Allah is a challenge. Allah says, I am the God. And to say it this way would mean that all other gods are false. Nothing is worthy of your veneration, your love, my love, our affection, our obedience, our, our dedication and devotion, except the one true Lord who created you and I. And he is above the heavens and the earth, separate from all that he has created.